Hello everybody. I just wanted to do a quick little video on what I just got done with the poster board with for my kids. It's a trifle poster board that I think I got at the Dollar Tree. So for a dollar. I got one big one and I cut it in half for both of our kids and for them basically to study without seeing each other because I have that issue that they keep talking to each other. Um, this is for my daughter. Basically have her flashcards. Well, the words that we're working with, her ABC poster board, her counting chart, and the book that she wanted to, last night she said she wanted to read map book, so I laid it out right there for her. This is her pencils that she's using, and this is her little um, Sterilite um, box that had pencils and um, a glue stick that I see that it's missing, and just some things for her. These are the books, so I basically stack them like this for her, and um, just, you know, we do one at a time. The first one basically is a self. She knows exactly that she needs to turn to the page where it's at, and she does it herself without asking. Then her language arts, her math, and her alphaphonics that we've been working on. And that's about it. That's everything that she has on her side. And also I have um, a little huggy box right here that I, you know, change it up. Um, sometimes I use different, I have different types of things that I use for counting. So today I'm going to be using those. Next thing, this is all done in our dining room table. Next is our son's side. Same thing for him his pencils, the calculator, see this one, he did not take his glue stick out, his book that we're working on, he likes the Magic Tree House, so we're on book two, his flash card for multiplication, we are, I only take them, I have an actual ring for it, but I only take out a set that we're working on until he has a completely memorized, out of order, and I keep testing him, once he doesn't get no nothing that he does that he passes all of them without any wrong then i'll go ahead and change to a different set and this is the ones that we're working on right today the reading math for him and language arts the only one that i have to basically work with him is the language arts and that's because i want to make sure that he gets it i'm sitting right you know usually here's my desk I sit there and if the kids have any questions then I'll go ahead and um, help them out math pretty self-explanatory I you know he turns the page and for him I don't have him do everything I had just have him do whatever I circled he knows that whatever circles what um, he needs to work on and if he doesn't get it then he just gives me you know pretty a question and then this is um, the same thing he got done with this side so now he knows that he needs to work on this one. And that's it. When he gets done with all this, then we go ahead and sit down. And uh, I try to switch on. At the beginning, I do reading with her. And then at the end, I do reading with him. Because with him, it takes a little bit longer. And I like to question him on the stuff so I know he understood it. But that's everything. My little reading nooks that I have for them. Study nooks. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.